Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. I've got a couple of new toys to show off here and well, what's life without a couple of new toys every now and again? Um, most obviously, um, I've got a new modular vice set up here. Uh, this is direct mounted to the table to save a bit in height. And a 440, every millimetre of height you can get is absolutely precious. So uh, giving some up for a tooling plate didn't really ever seem like a good idea to me, a fixture plate rather. Um, so what I've done here is put a fixed jaw in the centre here. Um, this is mounted on the table and then clocked in the usual way as you do with a normal vise so that this surface here is nicely aligned with the y-axis. Um, for the movable jaws, uh, what I've done is got a half inch thick plate that's um, bolted to the table with small movable portions on top. <coughs> um, you can probably see that I've got uh, Mighty Bite talon grips fitted to one side of the fixed jaw and to the movable jaws on this side whereas I've got a plain alloy part on the other side for uh, second op stuff that uh, won't cause any marking. As an option on the centre if you take both the talon grips and the alloy bar out I can fit that instead to do a soft jaw or if you want soft jaws on one side but talon grips on the other or whatever there's a half wide soft jaw. For soft jaws on the movable side I would simply make one of these without the channel so it would be a solid piece of alloy. Not difficult to do. Um, <coughs> second thing, uh, sitting in the spindle at the moment, if I move the camera up a little bit to where we can see it, where's it gone? There it's there. Uh, this is a single point thread mill it's a bit new to me, I've only had uh, one experimental cut with it, it seems to work quite nicely. Uh, it's going to be doing M8 by 1.25 today. Uh, the other thing you'll probably have seen before that I keep a uh, tool setter sitting on my uh, table. Uh, this is the first time I'm going to actually film it uh, checking the tools as the program's running. I've got it set to check the length of each tool for tolerance at the end of each operation. Uh, that's really looking for tools breaking so that you don't uh, load the next tool and break it as well. Uh, you could get up going around the whole tool holder carousel and break every tool if you don't do that. So this should be a bit of fun. Um, it's not a big job, I'm just uh, making some holes and threading them for a uh, part for a friend for his car. Uh, so it's nothing fancy but a bit of fun. Thanks.
Okay, that seems to have worked out just fine. So uh, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, if you're interested, I'll include at the bottom of this video links to the source for the little thread mill um, and also to where you can download the Fusion Post for uh, Pathpilot. If anyone would like an equivalent one for my 3, um, drop me a line and I'm sure I can arrange it. Bye for now.